Welcome to the Pre-Med Preacher. It's a great day here in State College, Pennsylvania, and today I'm talking to the freshman, doing a curriculum review and what to expect over the next four years as a pre-medicine major, whether you're going to dental school, medical school, veterinary school, or anything of the sort. Hope you guys enjoy. Familiar. You're familiar. So as you can see here in the left column, you have major requirements. These are things like Bio 110, which will include a lab, Bio 230W, which will also include a lab. Some majors can actually substitute biology classes for BMB classes. For example, instead of taking Bio 230W, I took BMB 251. So that's a class that doesn't have a lab, and you should be keenly aware, if you want to avoid lab time, that you can substitute BMB for some biology classes. Now next you'll see your general chem progression. So you go all the way from Gen Chem through organic chemistry. Chem 110 is your Gen Chem 1, while Chem 111 is your lab. Something important to keep in mind during Chem Lab is to get close to your TA, because your TA will ultimately be grading your lab notebook and will dictate your grade for the course. So for Chem Lab 1, which is 111 here, and Chem 113, which is Chem Lab 2, you're going to want to get to know your TA very well. Chem 110 is your Gen Chem 1, and Chem 112 is your Gen Chem 2. And then you have Organic Chemistry 1, or Chem 210, and Organic Chemistry 2, or Chem 212. Something important to note about the Chem Lab, which is called 213W, is it's known as a Writing Across the Curriculum course and that can satisfy some of your gen ed requirements. Uh, one thing I will mention is that Bio 230W is also a writing across the curriculum course. As we continue, you can see Health Policy Administration 101. This is a course that is specific to pre-medicine majors. You might not have to take this even if you are on a pre-medicine route. You also have to take Calculus 1, or this would be the equivalent of Calculus AB in high school, and Calculus 2. Uh, math 140 and 141. You are going to have to take Nutrition 251 where you go over things like carbs, lipids, proteins, things of that nature uh, with nutrition. You'll also have to take this course right here, which is Medical and Healthcare Ethics. Uh, and that's a course that again is specific to the pre-medicine major. Um, one thing as we move into the physics realm of things that you're going to want to notice is that the 211 series of physics, which goes 211, 212, all the way through 214, this is the calculus-based physics course at Penn State. So you can take an alternative course load, which is physics 250 and physics 251. And those courses are algebraic-based, so they do tend to be a little bit easier. But if you are a pre-medicine major specifically, you're going to have to take this calculus level course where 211 is your mechanics, 212 is your electricity and magnetism, 213 is your fluids and thermal, and 214 will be your waves and your quantum physics. And then you have to take an introductory psychology class and an introductory sociology class that sort of works on evaluating and deliberating sociological assertions. Now, as you move to this right column here, you're gonna see your optionality for coursework kind of increases. You could take Bio 220, which is populations and communities. You could take Bio 240, which is function and development of organisms, and that's for plants and animals here. Or you could take Microbiology 201 with the 202 lab, and that's just introductory microbiology. Um, a statistics, you have to choose one of the two types of statistics class here at Penn State. Stat 250 is biostatistics, so it's kind of um, more a statistics class that focuses on a biology setting, uh, an application where Stat 200 is just your typical statistics class. You also have your real pre-medicine classes, as I like to call them, which is Bio 421, which is anatomy. 437, which is histology, G -Y. and then you have 472 and 473, which is mammalian physiology, um, and 473 being the lab, and then you have uh, microbio 412 and 422, 
which is medical microbiology with a lab. You also have your biochemistry and molecular biology progression here, uh, 400 level being um, the microbiology of a gene. So that's more like Mendelian genetics and uh, you know inheritance. Uh, BMB 401 is your general biochemistry one, and BMB 402 here is your general biochemistry two. Uh, 401 and 402 here will focus sort of more on the synthetic pathways of organic molecules in the body. So you're gonna have to know some organic chemistry from 210 and 212. Uh, and overall, you'll kind of focus on the synthetic pathways that are found within biological systems such as yourselves. Um, speaking to any high schoolers who are watching this video, uh, you do need language proficiency. Uh, second semester proficiency is required as a pre-medicine major here at Penn State. So I strongly suggest that you take a fourth year of language in high school. Uh, some, they do make exceptions for three years of language experience, but I do suggest taking a fourth year in high school and that will completely waive these requirements uh, for language proficiency. And then you're gonna have to take some electives where you'll have to discuss with your advisor things that you'd like to uh, sort of get involved with. For example, I chose to take an elective called Bio 496 and this is research. So if you are able to get into a research lab, you can enroll yourself in this course and get credit for the work you're doing. Uh, I also took uh, what's called an internship course, uh, 295, and um, let's see, internship, and I did that over the summer. So you can take an internship, uh, whether it be working in science or business, in a lab, doing wet, wet lab bench research, or uh, anything of that nature, you can definitely uh, use that as one of your electives as part of your program list. Um, and overall, you can just work towards fulfilling the majority of these requirements for the bachelor's in science in pre-medicine. So that's all we have for today. In the next video, we'll be going over gen eds or general education classes. I'm gonna tell you guys which ones are the easiest ones to take, which ones I strongly recommend, which ones you can take online, and I hope to see you there. Thanks so much. Familiar. You're familiar.